This is an oral history interview with Mrs. Rosetta Romagnoli by Nancy Ryan, conducted on March 17, no, April 17, 1981, at 51 Bennington Street, Newton, Massachusetts. This interview is conducted as part of an oral history project by the Newton Free Library. Okay, why don't you first start off in telling me about what you're, where you're from? And okay, I'm uh, from Italy, mm -hmm. uh, central Italy. Mm -hmm. It's a region, uh, the name is uh, Abruzzi, it's near Rome, mm -hmm. on the Adriatic Sea. Mm -hmm. And let's uh, say I'm a college graduate. graduate. Okay. Did, yes. you, did you receive your schooling there? Yes, in Italy, mm -hmm. but I went for four years uh, to the Art Institute in Boston to learn some graphics oh. art. Well, did you come here first? Yes. Did, and then you, did you go back to Italy or did you? Yeah, almost every year. Oh. Because all my family is there. Right. My so father, what? My, my mother, my sister, my brother. So what made you decide to come here first? Oh, because my husband was here. So now? I knew him for a long time, you know. And Were you married really, in Italy? Yeah, no. In this country. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I was I lived in Italy in the nineteen sixty four uh -huh. and we were married in September nineteen sixty four. Uh -huh. And the first baby was born in nineteen sixty five. Nineteen sixty five. After nine months. And now where did you move when you first came to, to live here? Where did you live first? Uh, I lived for two years in the two year enough in the north end in Boston oh. because this is almost what the old Italian do. Right. Yes. Right. And after we bought this house. This house on right here. Street. When did you move here? Sixty seven, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't remember really mm -hmm. now. Yeah. After three almost three years. Okay. And that's it. And what did did you miss did you miss the north end when you came when you came to Not Italy? really. The, the, the North End, uh, you know, like 17 years ago, was uh, not really a nice place to live, believe me. Yeah. It was a lot. I don't know. It was not nice. Not nice in the way, no sun, you know, no, no trees, mm -hmm. no, a lot of dirty streets, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, with the new projects and uh, redevelopment, yeah. yeah, it's something different, but mm -hmm. really, Shock me out. Did you have that family there when you first moved there? Yeah, you know my friends? my husband, my husband family was in the North you End. There? Yeah, for almost uh, twenty two years. Twenty two years. They returned in Italy five years ago. Oh. And did you did you live with them or did you have your own? No, family? no. We I asked for my own. <laughs> <laughs> and so now, what did you do when you first came over? You were going to school? No. No. Because I was expecting my first baby. Okay. And. Uh, you stay yeah. home. You stay home. When we are mother. And, but after three or four months, I started to work with a guy who um, was a producer in a uh, radio station doing an Italian program, radio program. Oh, and how did you get involved in that? I knew the guy and I started just to replace him when he was in it, you know, going around. And uh, I started little by little, you know, and it was good. Okay. I enjoyed myself. Oh. It was funny. What did you What did you do? Oh, sports and Italian language, some little news, mm -hmm. and you know, music. Um, what uh, What was really my job? Look around for the research, you know, music and the news. But I was involved in the, um, doing some sports and talking and right. presenting the show. You know, I was not good at first, but <laughs> I learned a lot. It well, was yeah. good then. Well, what did you study in college? I'm an elementary school teacher. Oh, okay. And that's it. Mm -hmm. And so now how do you, did you know when you were in school that you would be going into something like this? No. The, no? No. It's but I was really good in social studies in mm -hmm. Italy. Mm -hmm. And um, now in the language, that's true. That's really true. <laughs> and um, um, I was a good writer. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I. I was not thinking to be, you know, to do this work, kind of work at this first, but to be involved in literature or writing, or, you know, like a short uh, novel, something, uh, this was something, or uh, journalist, you know, this was yeah. really, I like right. to do it, but I was not thinking I can, was my future. Uh -huh. Did you, um, 
Now, did you learn to speak English over in Italy? No, I never went to the school to learn some English, really. It's something, it's, um, it's on my blanket, you know. If mm -hmm. something goes wrong, I think it's because of my language, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I do like Linus. <laughs> it's my excuse. Right. <laughs> and my husband says, oh, that's not good. I know, it's <laughs> not childish. I know that. Mm -hmm. I know that. But um, what I said, I need something to help me. If uh, I know I can do better if I learn a good English, right. but uh, I never really try hard, harder. So you haven't learn. taken any courses no, out here? No, just what I know I learn. Just, just what you pick up? Learning. Yeah, pick up. But it's not good English, I know that, but uh, I can do better, I know that, but it's just uh, so I don't want it in some so, so for your job, you, you speak Italian? Yeah, but a lot. I, I'm involved uh, a lot of with uh, some uh, English public, right. in, with, I know, especially on my work in TV. Uh -huh. That's a program in English and Italian. And uh, but I do well with the people. It just you know, they think I'm fun when I speak. <laughs> <laughs> I me a lot anyway. But you know, to be a professional person, sometimes you know, I know I need a good English. Yeah. But someday. So did you when now when you first started working? Did you start? 40 hours a week, or what were your hours? Oh, uh, it was like half, the, half hour a day. Half hour, one day? Day program. The program oh. was half hour. Okay. But, like, I work like two, three hours a day just to be prepared to do. In the morning, in the afternoon? In the, in the morning. And then you already had kids? Yeah, time. and uh, it was uh, like a lady near my home. She helped me take care of the kids. She would help you with the yeah, children? the children. Oh, I see. And so then you would, you would come back? Yeah, I, what, really, I was running all day long, you know, like, but uh, was for me it was good just to take off the house, yeah. be myself, do something. You see, I was working in Italy, mm -hmm. I get a job. Oh, that's not, oh, what oh yeah, that's, that's it, right. and uh, I really I can stay home all day long. And mm -hmm. So when did you start working when you were in Italy? I was 17. So you started right away? Yeah. Yes, after I got my college diploma. I prefer work on, you know, in, in the hospital, doing some, uh, in Italy, something different. We have this, uh, like, um, uh, social security, mm -hmm. and uh, was I, I was taking care of the insurance for the people in the hospital, oh, okay. and it was a good job for my age, mm -hmm. and was, I was a few, not too many girls can have a job, you know, what I'm saying. And, but I try very hard. What, what did your parents think about your working? Did they oh, they like it. it. We are all women at home. And, uh, oh, no sons? One, uh, one brother. But, oh. uh, you know, four, five girls, one brother. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Usually the American, they think when you are Italian or come from another country, all the women stay home. It's not true. Some places, yeah. Mm -hmm. In the small, small cities, yes, and not make no difference north and south of Italy. Right. Some places in the north are worse than south. Right. But um, I live in Sulmona, and Sulmona is a very ancient town, like 24,000 people inhabitants. It's a very sophisticated country, um, city, with a um, college. Uh, high school and uh, very old history. It's a Roman city. What I'm trying to say is, it's a part of the, the atmosphere right. of the city to be involved right. in the social life and uh, studies, and uh, it's very interesting. And that's it. I used to work and started to work. That's all. And so you my father really wanted this for us. He used to say to us, if you need an husband, you take it. If you don't, you can be an independent girl. Uh -huh. This was his philosophy for the time. It was good. I think it was one of the few fathers who really think because about that. Because usually what happened in Italy, not now, but I'm talking about 20, 25 years ago after the war, uh, the parents think, you know, for a man it's very important to be educated, have a job, have work, a skill, mm -hmm. not for the girls, because the time you are married, everything you, they give to you, and the cost of money goes to the husband, 
and they don't want that. It's, it's a lost money. And but my father, he was the, you know, usually, usually, you know, we were four, or five girls and one boy, and uh, he says, not all of you can be married, you know, sometimes, the, but I don't know who, <laughs> and some, you know, this was the first step. The second step, he said, okay, if you want to get nice, but you know, and for the time was a very progressive mind, really. He helped a lot. The truth is, I got my diploma, my school t teaching uh, diploma. My sister, she's a, a registered nurse. Mm -hmm. The third one, uh, oh no, the second one, it's um, a, fa a housewife, but she work on the, in a, in a plan, a very sophisticated high fashion uh, place. Okay. And um, she a part-time job, is what I'm saying. And the third one, she, she's a registered nurse, and my brother, it's, um, oh, that's very, <laughs> that's so difficult to explain. It's a railroad uh, chief, station okay. chief, right. how do you say that? Okay. And um, the fourth, she's a girl, she's studying medicine, it's her last year medicine, it's a doctor. Mm -hmm. And the last girl, she's studying uh, Biochemic? Biochemistry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Now, uh, you can see it's a step after step. We got everybody a little better than the other one you mm -hmm. know, along the way. And uh, I helped the second one, the second one helped the third one. It was like that, that you know, but it yeah. uh, works. So when you came over here, you fully expected to work? Did you? Yeah. Yes, I like it. Yeah. You see, because I was used to my money. Usually, I give my money to the family, you know, right. because it was a large family, but uh, it was very important for me to have something for myself. Don't ask money to my husband. But usually, my husband give me the money to me, you know, the check is mine. <laughs> but it's a way to feel good. If you want something, you can have it. Right. Because still, I feel like um, if I go to my husband for something, I depend. On him. I don't want that, you know. Right. Still, uh, what I'm saying is, I don't have no restriction by mm -hmm. my husband. Mm -hmm. Because he's a very nice man. And, and he encourages yeah, you. Yeah, but uh, he helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing. If I have done something because my husband helped me see a lot. Because some, I, you know, I know some people or some girls or some, I'm talking about women, really, they they have very hard time just because the husband they felt, you know, the, the places for women it's a whole, still in this country, mm -hmm. but depend on the guys, on the, on the men really, because for what I know, all women really want to be independent, still if they are married, mm -hmm. if they are young, they are young, old, really, that's what I think. So when you came and you, you had your children, you started going out, and, and you had someone come in, to help you with, with the no, children? Or no, 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 just I bring just my little boy to this girl for three, four hours oh, a day yeah, to babysit and, and this was really another thing. Mm -hmm. You see, I have done some strange things. I come to this country without being married. My, I asked to my family to come over here. Mm -hmm. And this was the first strange thing. No Italian girl come in the country yeah. to be married. That's one thing. Mm -hmm. And it was a really a, tra a tragedy, you know, to leave my family and my mother, she was kind, that's not good, what the people saying. Were you the first daughter? To yeah. Us? And um, not the first daughter, the first women <laughs> in the North End. <laughs> <laughs> and the second thing, I started to work to mm -hmm. marry the boy. I was the first girl going to the lining in Boston, the hospital for women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The first Italian there. Mm -hmm. They were used to have a lot of the Spanish girls, but no Italian. I think I was one of the first. <laughs> <laughs> no, a, lot, a lot of first. <laughs> yeah, a lot of first. That's funny. And, um, and um, well, what's the word? I forgot your. Uh, you asked me something. Oh, I was. Um, I, I knew you, you, someone took care of the child. I was uh, yes, and uh, I bring the kids to the... To, to the babysitter? To or the babysitter. Right. And then was another thing, the first thing I've done was no use. 
you see the, the, the grand the, the mother law they don't send a law this kind of thing they don't want it because what other mother said if you do that you know mm -hmm. that's, uh, but uh, I have done that because what, what about it's time? not good to give the, 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 the children to look at your mother, to your place in home, but uh, right. you, you don't know what is happening to the, your boy. But I said, no, if I know the person who is like, taking care, I never use strange people. Who, who did mind. you use to get to babysit? Was a friend. Right. Yeah. Was, she, was she young, old? Well, middle, married? like 40 years old, right. 38, was married, was Italian, mm -hmm. if you know my language. But after that, when we moved in, the, in Newton, mm -hmm. I used a lot of babysitters, but right. people really I knew, you know, friends, mm -hmm. uh, dark, you know, yeah. friends, but, but I used them, you know, I was used. What about the, um, the, like the household chores? Did you have someone come in to do that? or did you Not do really. That or? I, I don't want people in my house, because it's like, um, I resent like a, it's an excuse to have nobody in the home. Mm -hmm. This way I feel I do my Italian family mm -hmm. duty. Right. And that's it's a complex some way. Mm -hmm. But in some other, I don't want it because it's like you know, if I'm depending on other person, I'm not free. Mm -hmm. And this way I do what I can. I push myself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I do good, sometimes I don't, but it's me, you know. And, uh, mm -hmm. I take care of that. You're working now, though, more than you worked before, yes, right? Yes, but, um, yeah, I'm working more because I'm involved in more things. Mm -hmm. I got my everyday program now, mm -hmm. my Sunday program. My husband left me a lot. Uh, are you still with the same people that you No. Oh, so I, after three months, so, uh, I stopped it. Okay. And when I started again, the, the, the year after, I started my own program. Is that your own program? My own program. Oh. And that's, I mean, I was looking for the sponsors. And, uh, and, and so what exactly do you do now? Uh, that's what I do. I produce some Italian radio program mm -hmm. and a TV show. The on only TV American, and um, Yes. Mm -hmm. And for the TV, it's uh, the only to American uh, TV show in Diana. Oh. And I think it's not the first one because like 15 years ago was another half hour program mm -hmm. on the air. After three years I think stops. I'm you know, channel 38. And every I've night, once a week? No, it was a, it's one a week really mm -hmm. because it's too expensive right. to do it. What, but what we are working on something, uh, some new projects. And what time does it come on and what night? Uh, it's a Sunday. The problem is uh, on Sunday, uh -huh. 11 o'clock. It's 11 to 12. It's a variety. Beautiful songs, music, travel love. Oh, it's very nice. Yeah. That and must have been a big jump, though, to go yeah. go out on your own. Yes, you but I'm, uh, what I'm saying is because my husband helped me a lot. Yeah. That's what really made thing work. Mm -hmm. Because if you need to fight your your husband, you see, if uh, if with another person, my no do. You know, my husband, the way he is, mm -hmm. I think it was very hard for me to do it. And uh, I, I know at the time, you have just two choices, leave him, fight him, or stay, and, you know, and mm -hmm. just forgot what, about your work. Mm -hmm. And usually that's what the women uh, they do, you know, just uh, stop the work and be a, a what? It's a choice, you don't have a choice. Yeah, exactly. Excuse me. <laughs> Okay, why don't I ask you about the, um, what were the people you worked with now? So you, you must have people working for you. If you Not too many. Not too many? Because our budget is very limited. Mm -hmm. you, you are in charge though, you are. What I do, what did I do, or what we do, usually on the, see, on the radio, on TV, what we do, we go some, to some station, where like Channel 16, we ask for some time, mm -hmm. and we pay the time. Mm -hmm. And I fill it up the time with the program, mm -hmm. with you know, the radio on TV, plus I look for sponsors to pay the expenses. Who do you usually go to for sponsors? Depend, Italians, Italian Americans, Americans, the, you know, depend on what we are selling or what they are selling. Mm -hmm. 
people, but usually it's ethnic thing. Uh -huh. Because if it's like, oh, you know, <laughs> pasta, uh, airlines, mm -hmm. you know, something go to do with the, the Italians, you know, mm -hmm. uh, mentality, uh, foods, right. and, you know, right. cultural way, and all this kind of thing. And, uh, do you, about how many sponsors do you have? Do you know, oh, you well, usually my, you know, that's, uh, I work hard and usually on the radio we are covered with our time. Mm -hmm. That's mean 12 minutes. Excuse me, on the radio at 18 minutes mm -hmm. per hour. On TV, 12. Mm -hmm. Now, I, the most I can cover on TV, it's like 7, 8, 9, 10, sometimes 12 too. Mm -hmm. But because of the station, it's new and the program, it's new. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but, um, you know, you see, the truth is, this work, it's not because for the money. Mm -hmm. You don't make too much money. But it's the idea to do something. And it's uh, one way to be, to work on the relation between one country and another country. Mm -hmm. To help the Italians to be, you know, more... <laughs> In some way more involved, still if you are working and thinking and speaking in Italian, but it's a way to push them in, in this country, to mm -hmm. be involved. Mm -hmm. it's, in some way it's educational work, in some way. And um, because I work on the radio and TV, I'm involved in a lot of community mm -hmm. affairs. First one, Bostonian, Boston 200, Children Museum, uh, ethnic uh, workshop. So uh, you're you're all over this area then? Oh right? yeah, a lot. Yeah. Summer, uh, uh, what was summer villa, summer fe summer festa, summer fest in and then Somerville, mm -hmm. any play in Lowell, um, Montelium festivals, or American festival, and. Yeah, we, we do a lot of work. What kind of response do you get for, for your programs? Have you, um, what can I say? Do you, do you feel like you have a very big audience? And oh, yeah, I think so, yes. And do you think it's grown over the years? Yeah, what I'm thinking is the Italian community is going back, you know, because there are not too much people coming now. Right. The immigration is going down, right. thank God. <laughs> but uh, that's the reason we do uh, the TV program was more expensive in two languages, English and Italian. Mm -hmm. And this way we appeal on the Italian Americans too, mm -hmm. and the Greek and Spanish, oh. all the ethnic groups, you know, coming from the other continent in Europe, mm -hmm. European. And um, that's it. That's one thing. On the radio, it's Italian because it's less expensive mm -hmm. and the community is very large. Right. I think in you know, all Massachusetts we got like half a million Italians and Little Americans and we are the same number, same number of Spanish people, 10% mm -hmm. of the population. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of people think the Spanish are, are more. Yeah. Look like we are the same, 10% of the Italian Boston population. And um, that's it. Now, if we go, you know, if I proceed with this work, I'm still working on uh, uh, Italian or Italian American content, mm -hmm. you know, the subject and the issues. Mm -hmm. But if we go, you know, uh, it's a, a necessity to do everything in English. I was going to say, yeah. Yeah. So the entire show is in English? No, no. But I think in five, six, seven years. No, it's half in English, half in Italian. Oh, I see. Okay. Right now. Mm -hmm. But the way I look at the future... You think it's going to be all in English? Yes. But if we can get a more hour, will be something only in Italian for the people really want to learn the language mm -hmm. as something in Italian and for the Italians, Italians. Mm -hmm. But if on the business basis, what I'm saying, it's a necessity to just to reach mm -hmm. larger.
the number of people and the, the Italians, you know, it's a street. Mm -hmm. So how do you divide it up now? I mean, it's part What we do now, I look for programs uh, where, you know, the music, it's Italian music, classic mm -hmm. um, folk music or modern music, song. Mm -hmm. But the presentation is done in English. That means it's a lady there saying, okay, the next segment, we have uh, like this uh, Pavarotti mm -hmm. singing, uh, you know, whatever, Haida piece, and uh, that's it. And he, she explained in English what it's all about, mm -hmm. the song and the singer, like a little biography. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Now, Pavarotti is a very well-known <laughs> person, but it's somebody, you know, uh, Italian singer, uh, you know, like Modugno, okay, everybody knows Modugno, Volare, something, or Arrivederci Roma, with Russia, okay, are some people very famous you know, mm -hmm. overseas, but other people are just Italian singer. Right. But if you think a little American who is listening, who is watching the TV, it's coming from uh, Sicily. Mm -hmm. And we said, okay, the next singer, it's a Sicilian born guy in Palermo. He was born in Palermo. It's a nice seat on the coast of Sicily. It's a little roots, see, you know. And the people uh, put some attention, more attention to what you're saying, especially the little Americans. Mm -hmm. They know nothing about. Yeah. That's the way to take them. And plus the music, because they love the Italian music, you know, because it's, um, it's a very nice music. Plus we have a travelogue in English, mm -hmm. all English. Why? Because the travelogue, we choose to do the travelogue in English, because almost the Italians, they know what it's all about. Still, if they, if it's just in the small place in Italy, but they have the church and the paintings on the wall of the church and the fountain, mm -hmm. You know, it's almost the same thing, you know, small and the big cities in Italy. And they don't know, they know almost everything. Mm -hmm. uh, but the are little Americans really don't know what they have it, or they know. It's, and that's the reason we have the travel log, touristic travel log, uh -huh. all in English. Now, besides, okay, besides the... Oh, so another thing we do in the program, uh, I do some in interview every week. Oh, okay. With some Italian or Italian American personality. Uh -huh. I do the Italians and another guy, he take care of the, the English speaking people. Mm -hmm. And we take care of the you know, people is coming from Italy, political people, mm -hmm. or artists, or I don't know, social worker, everything is going on, plus the problems of the community. Mm -hmm. Not the big problems, because really we don't have the hands and the power to push for that. Mm -hmm. But just let people know what it's all about. Um, if they have a problem in the family, if, uh, some agent to take care of that. And um, like the APAC in East Boston or the North End, or it's a special program for the who is teaching the Italian language, you know, all this kind of thing, and we work on that. That's a community news. Now, how has the, um, has the format remained pretty much the same? No, since no, How has that changed no. since you started? On TV, we do depend on the, the depend on the time, depend uh, if it's a summer or winter. Mm -hmm. And like in summertime, we prefer to do like uh, a soccer game sometimes, mm -hmm. or oh, like, um, oh, how do you say in English, like, um, no movies, but like, um, you know, on Channel 2, we have all this, um, the English uh, stories, so like, uh, I Cloud, you saw, oh, oh okay. something like that, right. in English, uh, in Italiano, we call them sceneggiati, mm -hmm. and like a piece, piece, masterpiece, here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And uh, now, right now, for example, we are doing a, a, a special program because we, I buy the program some in Italy or in, uh, in this country from the Rai Corporation mm -hmm. or agencies, 
it's like a Nashville festival, something like that. We've done every year in San Remo, it's annual singing uh, festival. Mm -hmm. And it's very nice, and the people like it a lot. But it's the most for the Italians, right. because it's only in Italian language. But it's very nice, it's very, it's very elegant. Now, how many, how many people do you have working for you? Oh, that's the thing. I'm the only one really working on that. <laughs> I do everything. Okay. Public relation work, producing, because one we have done show. some producing work, like we have done some beautiful show on Christmas time. Mm -hmm. We call it Christmas Natale, it means Christmas, USA. That's mean Natale, maybe Statue Uniti. Uh, we have tried to give a uh, different view of what is the, uh, Christmas in this country, in the Italian community, mm -hmm. what, what was and the way it was in Italy. Mm -hmm. All the tradition, if the Italians still, you know, doing the same thing, mm -hmm. the way they, no, they used to do in Italy mm -hmm. during the, the, the Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, and this is a lot. And this is a lot of production for us. It's a lot of money for me, anyway. Mm -hmm. oh. When I'm doing that, you know, your crew working for me, mm -hmm. um, I got, uh, the English-speaking guy. The name is Frank Federico. He's very good. He helped me a lot, and me. And this means, you know, my husband sometimes, and this means uh, three or four, five people working on that. Mm -hmm. But that's me who is looking for the money mm -hmm. and being in touch with the people mm -hmm. and calm and writing. And uh, we, uh, I got my sister-in-law, she helped me. It's a family work, really. And my sister-in-law, she helped me with letters sometimes if I'm too busy and uh, sending bills, all this kind of thing, right. like secretarial work. Do you, bring, this work. do you bring a lot of work home? And work I work home. home. Yeah. Yeah, I work home really because this way I can take care of the house and the kids and mm -hmm. the cat and the, <laughs> and the work it all together. But I hope, you know, we are hoping we can do a little better for the next two or three years. Uh -huh. To do more, more hours and more, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. We talked about, about your work here in the house now. So when you, you moved here, what year? Into to uh, I think 67, I didn't remember. 67? Yeah. Okay, and you, and you just continued, you would, you would work, and by then were you, how old were you? Just the radio. And, um, yeah, we used to work at the time, but um, it was very hard for me when uh, I started leaving this uh, Place. I love it, you know, the green, the trees, because mm -hmm. in Italy it was like that, and really I miss all the, the nature in the north end. But um, and the long windows, you know, and you know, it's different right. between over here and in Italy. You know, mm -hmm. the summer it's hot, you know, all this mm -hmm. kind of thing. But in the north end, was I really miss the green and the flowers and all this kind of thing. Over here was really nice. Mm -hmm. But I was really alone because there was nobody on my friends around the year. Like th this, this is not an Italian no, right where no, you're living right no. here. And plus, uh, I was not driving at the time. And there was another problem. And plus, the people around the year, they really don't like it, strangers at the time. And this last 10 years, a lot of changing happened in the community. Mm -hmm. But at the time, it was very hard. Mm -hmm. They pick on me, they pick on my boy, and I was a re at the time was just one, mm -hmm. after four years I am a little girl, mm -hmm. and it was really terrible. I, I was very frustrated because I can explain myself, they were thinking, you know, you see, I don't know, they take advantage of a lot of things. Mm -hmm. They treat us or me because my husband, you know, he, he can explain me very well because he knows a good English. And uh, but I don't know why, you know. I don't know. Either I can explain that. See, we are not racist. In, in I was no use on this kind of thing. Right. Because you are Italian, you can speak. Did and, you? And you know, 
the kids and the family, the way, the, the, you know, no, the kids were really terrible, you know, but our kids. But you can see uh, uh, behind them, the family, the way they destroy the flowers, the tree, and all this kind of thing, and you can speak with the family. Mm. But it was a good after because they start respect you, respect me in this way, but it was very, very, very long. You know. Did you used to go back to the North End and see your, your friends and family there? Yeah, because, yeah, but you see, <laughs> was no helpful, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because how many times you really go around? They work, they used to work, okay. nobody was there. Mm -hmm. And one time a week, yeah, but you see, I'm not kind of person who goes some and cry. Yes, I got some friends, I talk with them on the telephone, I mm -hmm. spend hours on crying. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, that's good. But still, I, still today I send a lot of people who really mm -hmm. don't like the other people. Mm -hmm. for, I don't know for what reason. I, uh, mm -hmm. I don't understand that really. Mm -hmm. Because they are black, they are white, they are red, they are yellow. I, I don't know. In the way this, and that's I think the way I refused to learn the English is because I was so afraid to, to lost my identity at the first. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, I start to say some word in English after six, seven years mm -hmm. almost in Italy, mm -hmm. uh, in this mm -hmm. country. Yes. Yeah, I refused to speak any words in or the thing in English. Oh, because I was so upset, really, with everybody and. Because I was me, I think I was a very intelligent, well educated, and let see the people treat you like you're crazy or you're stupid, and it's not good. Did you used to have? Um, did you celebrate holidays and stuff here? With, with did you have friends and come over? And yeah, we do that. Yes, for holidays. Still today, still today, we got some friends. Christmas time, Easter time. It's like time. this. Next Sunday, coming Sunday, we are going to my sister-in-law house. Uh -huh. to, to my husband's sister for living one in Med for the one in Molde. Mm -hmm. And this is, a, you know, in some way I don't like to be involved with the family too much. Uh -huh. But in this country, it's a way to survive. Uh -huh. You know, it's important. It's mm -hmm. important to be yourself, what you are. Uh -huh. I'm not really. I'm a traditional in some way because. I think everybody has the right to be what it is, really, mm -hmm. and still be involved in this, in the, you know, in the new place, with the people of the new place, but um, I don't want to forget what I am. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say with my kids, they are American, I know that, mm -hmm. but they are Italians too. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of good things if they know what they are. Mm -hmm. Something good in this country, something other good mm -hmm. in other countries, and be respectful for that. Mm -hmm. And to be in the family, put you know, take away care of the tradition is a way to say that's what I am. I'm proud of that and I like it. You see, if I go in Italy and I speak like that, they, they think I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. What the problem you got it? Mm -hmm. But that's the way it is. Mm -hmm. Only you learn to be more strong about that. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I think it's important if I'm involved in something like a media because I can show to somebody else what we got mm -hmm. and what it's all about, how beautiful it is. And it's a way to defend myself in some way, you know. Are you involved now in and besides your work, are you involved in any kind of community activities? Yes, usually I am. Mm -hmm. Not right now because in this last year not too many things going on. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, we are a lot involved. What, what kind of things have you been doing? Usual cultural things. Mm -hmm. And uh, social in the way to help like people to take care of the schools and the kind of things mm -hmm. and bilingual programs. Mm -hmm. Because I think it's important. Now it's a problem because it's no money, the 
cities are carrying a lot and uh, okay I understand it's some we need to work on that I know that mm -hmm. but still I believe it we need something left we can destroy everything mm -hmm. take away everything mm -hmm. it's impossible it's like at some root, root to a tree a little you know cutting <laughs> root, it's, it's helpful you know it's 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 good for the the tree right, don't pull the whole thing up but uh, cut everything i don't think it's good right it's a thing. because you see that i don't think it really the you know the people need to know what they were like the little americans mm -hmm. are not that uh, it's not that but just to try to let the american you know or the other people in this country you know because the american we say american i'm american you're american you know and we are different races but just if we take care if we do something for the Italians, are not the only the Italians looking for that, but are races, are the races. That means they are more confident in what they are themselves mm -hmm. and be a better people mm -hmm. and appreciate what is coming from other countries. It's just a way to be nicer one with another. Mm -hmm. That's what's important in ethnic. Mm -hmm. But not be chauvinist in with, oh, I'm the best because I'm Italian. That's what really I hated about the little American sometimes. Mm -hmm. They start with Columbus of this kind of thing, like they are the best, are not the best. It's the most stupid thing they can say. Mm -hmm. Or we do that, or the mafia. I'm not against, you know, I, I don't understand the, the way when they, the, the old Italian mafiosi, I don't understand that because it's true in one way the mafia was part of our history, the Italian American history, the Italian history. Mm -hmm. But it's something common to other groups was a very fast way to count in this country. Yeah. Because if you have money, but respect the poor people. Mm -hmm. and they look for a very easy and faster way to be rich. Yeah. Have you? I, well, I suppose not maybe now, but... It's in the system, you know, it's not in the people. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Do you feel like you, you've encountered a lot of discrimination in, in working? Do you, do you find a lot of prejudices? <sighs> In one way, yes, mm -hmm. they are not against you, but uh, still if they may, you know, in the very strong way, like 15 or 20, 25 years ago, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if they make fun of you, mm -hmm. just a little, it's some way to be racist. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Do it's a nicer way, but it's a way there. Do you think things have gotten better, though, oh, than yes. when you, when you first started working? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. It's but. It's true, I'm more secure, my, you know, I'm more confident in myself. That's another thing. Mm -hmm. And I can express myself a little better, not to worry. I work very hard. Mm -hmm. They know. You know. But I think what some other Italian, you know, more, you know, with more problems coming now, the way they feel. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I like to ask them sometimes, you know. I think they got the same problems like me 20, 25 years ago. I Just a little more or less, I don't know. But today the, the time are more harder. It's less job. Around. You know, I, I, other kind of problems. Would well, you think when, when you first came over, you started to you started to work for a friend, mm -hmm. right? Now, do you think if you hadn't known someone, do you think it would have been more difficult for you to get a job? No, yes. So you, you consider yourself fortunate in that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I'm fortunate in the way what I'm saying. I got an husband who really is a um, very understanding people, person. Mm -hmm. uh, because was this friend there. So do you I think I, I really... Yeah, it was a combination of the things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was a little lucky. Right. But I think it's not really pure lucky, you know, you are lucky, no. Mm -hmm. It's the way you see a location, it will take the range of the patient, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I asked the guy, if you need the help, I can help you. He says, yes, you know. Was a, between one yes or one no. Mm -hmm. He said, yeah, I was lucky. But I asked mm -hmm. if... You hadn't asked, it wouldn't have. Yeah, but then you only stayed with him for three months, is that yeah. right? And then what made you decide that you wanted to go out on your own? I like it. Uh -huh. 
You see, I'm not really, I don't like to be in first, uh, a lot of people watching me, um, you know, I really, I need to push myself with right. that. But the radio was a nice way because, uh, I don't know really, my sister says, you know, it, because the shop, we like to be a shop person, you know, mm -hmm. I think yes, it's something like that, each, in each one doing this kind of work, mm -hmm. because you know, a lot of people is listening to you, mm -hmm. but you're scary in another way, yeah, sure. you know, and you need to really push yourself. But I like it. I really don't know now why I've done that, really, I choose to do that. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, but I think it was another reason, it was something I can do it without learning some English, mm -hmm. without other skills, you know. It was an easy way to do something, that's what really, mm -hmm. I think was the main reason. Okay. I can use my language in the right way, with Italian. And, you know. and so where do you see this going from, from here? You're, you're going to continue with this? I think so because I have some ideas, it's something I can talk about. <laughs> uh, but I hope I can do just a little more about putting it down. Mm -hmm. it will be something in Little American field, that's true. Mm -hmm. It will be not all American, mm -hmm. but still in communication. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I don't know. You see, what is good in this field is something is moving all the time. We have so many um, possibilities and to do some very different things right. still. And plus, between this country and Italy, mm -hmm. you know, between the two countries, I can exchange material in the communication field, mm -hmm. programs. It's very it's very interesting. It's, it's a very large field, really. Right. Yeah, just what you need to do and look and be alert all the time and see what you can really do it. You know? I think it's a space, mm -hmm. you know, very small. I don't think it will be a, it's not a way we can do very something very big, you know, uh -huh. because <laughs> just because you are an ethnic group, you are working, that's small. It's just a very, very, very small way. Mm -hmm. But it's a feature there. I, I believe that. Yeah. What I'm saying on Italian, still only in English, but it will be something. And still, you know, it's a large, it's a very large yeah, possibility yeah. You know, occasion to work on. Mm -hmm. Do you encourage your children to help you? And, and yeah. My Kids, they help me. I, they are learning some Italian too. Not because I want to push them, mm -hmm. because I don't think that's the way. But if we build something, it's something they have. Right. And still every day, it's something like they are learning something. Now, I, I do a very practical thing. Uh, thinking. Mm -hmm. If you go to the school to learn these things, you pay. Uh -huh. Now, you don't pay anything. Uh -huh. It's all free. We are learning it's free. Mm -hmm. At, in Italiano, in Italian we say, impara l'arte e metti la parte. Learn a job and put the job away. Someday you can need it. Mm -hmm. It's a way, you know, just to enrich your personality. Uh -huh. Now, they are learning how to use a recorder or, you know, the camera or something. Just looking on, taking care. Yeah. I'm talking about my, my right, I, I just had a question. Yeah, you never took any um, like communication. No, so you, you I just never studied communication. No. So you just learned it step every by step. Right? I'm glad I've done that yeah. because really I learned every day. Technique, see, technically, I can. I don't know how to use uh, a studio TV big mm -hmm. machine or something like that. No, but I learned it's enough to know what I want to my right. my show the way you work with doing a spot, a production. And that's another thing. If today everything is done, I, I, you know, for any reason I stop to do that, I, I'm capable to work in an advertising agency because really I learn a lot about yeah, that. There's lots of possibilities. Yeah. yeah. Where do you do most of your, where, where's, where is the show, is the show taped? Where is this? 
What I'm saying, I, bu I buy the show. Oh, you okay. I'm not doing any show, but what I do is in production for the spot. Okay. And some special programs, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. Easter times or Christmas or community um, mm -hmm. events, we film that. Okay, okay. okay. And uh, we do a very nice work, mm -hmm. really. You know, it's, it's a matter of money, how much money you got. If you got a lot of money, you do a beautiful job. Mm -hmm. What we got, mm -hmm. they are very, te you know, elegant, mm -hmm. tasteful, mm -hmm. that's important. Are, um, are nice, that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think I'm very nice. I don't think uh, it's nothing, uh, I'm not ashamed for what I've done. Yeah. Yes, what I'm saying is sometimes, sometimes, all the time, it's so little money involved, mm -hmm. like um, $2,000 for mm -hmm. each production. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. We work with one camera, mm -hmm. two people, but uh, it's nice because we put what we really feel in, and um, it's the truth. Mm -hmm. That's good, you know. We work on the neorealist, neorealismo, neo <laughs> in the way to see God's things of Rossellini. You know, uh -huh. I think we all learn a lot about that. No, I'm kidding, you know. But um, you see, sometimes I'm laughing when. I see all these kind of people working, it's so important, we do this, we, but they are go, I don't know, especially when they are treating the ethnic group, they are so, how do you say it in English, um, can stop that. And what I was saying, uh, our special um, programs on TV, production, that's the way what they call it, uh, we work with so little money, you know, it's incredible. And still, if with a lot of limits, what we do, they are good in one way because I think we give the right image, the true image. Not all the true, because it's my true, mm -hmm. subjective, you know, it's not too much ob objective, but that's the way you say English, okay? But it's not the stereotype. Sometimes we do that too because it's a, it's a, because we I know that that's what we really want. Or it's something we put in, mm -hmm. like an um, Italian eating a pizza. Okay, that's it. But we don't eat the pizza the way they show. We don't eat pizza all the time. We don't eat spaghetti and meatball. You know, it's not the way to be Italian. Mm -hmm. And they don't know. Because all the Chinese are in one way, or the black do some things, so it's not that. Mm -hmm. Now, for an American company, it's important just to reach the public with something, just to put you in a box. Okay, we have to get an Italian spot, about some pizza, that's it. That's the way to do it there. Mm -hmm. Now, I have the choice to do something different, more sophisticated, Still, if it's not really selling, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, yeah. but it's another way to present something Italian, you know, what it is, dress or pizza or way to live and uh, everyday work, everyday life and people, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and you can see the American way to see us, it's very, very little the way we work, we present our, mm -hmm. it's something, but it's not all, you know what I'm saying, the figures, it's not just one side of the Italians, but it's uh, tutto tondo, it's all around what we present, and sometimes the American, they just push one side saying that's all, that's it all, it's not, and that's important, that's what I like, it. And to give the chance, to give to us the chance to 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 let the other see uh, you know see us in a different way. I don't know if they understand sometimes, but try to play. We try to know oh, it's possible we do something good. Yeah. It's like a challenge, you know. Sure and I like a lot that. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, can you just explain how now the radio started first? Okay, I start with uh, half hour. Every Sunday. This is on what WUNR. 
What? At the time was WBOS. What year was this? Uh, 65. Okay. okay. And uh, I used to do everything like um, news, community news, uh, music, to some music festivals, kind of thing. And after, like um, six years after, I start everyday program. But I start the everyday program because we were capable to do a news program directly from Italy with a cable telephone line. Okay. That means every day we can put on the air half hour of news coming directly from Italy. Mm. And that means it's uh, like the Holy Father uh, talking when he, oh, if the president of Italy is in Colombia, mm -hmm. or like was in Mexico like last month, okay, he's talking, we have uh, like a special uh, uh, I was in English. Uh, uh, it's the people they are talking about what's going on. So you no longer would get on and say no. The day what I news. do, no. What I do, just put the spots on. Right. Okay. But I take care of the money. I take care of the program. Everything is fine. You know. Mm -hmm. And is this what you're doing now, still now, with the radio? Yes. On Sunday, what do we do? We do one one hour of sports, soccer game, oh. in the same way mm -hmm. from Italy. Each field in Italy, like in Milan, Rome, they are playing the Sunday soccer games. That, that's the way they used to do it. Mm -hmm. Every Sunday they play the soccer games. Mm -hmm. Each city in Italy, big cities. And uh, we put this soccer mm, review on the air. It's a very uh, complicated work, you know, because uh, it's like an younger man in Rome mm -hmm. taking care of all the field in Italy. Mm -hmm. And we are capable in the same time to give all these things over here mm -hmm. because of the cable line. Mm -hmm. And if we miss the time or something goes wrong, we lost, we lose them. We don't have anything on the air. And we need to be prepared for the time when this happened, you know. So now and plus we have another hour on Sunday with community news, music, uh, when the people call, interview the is local this, people, it's on the, Sunday. Is this the variety That's show? a radio. I'm okay. talking still for the okay. radio. Plus every Sunday, 11 o'clock, we have the TV show. Mm -hmm. Now on Sunday, we start 11 o'clock with the TV show, who is taped. It's not live. Right. Oh. Okay. And 12 o'clock until 2.15, we have the radio show on WNTN in Newton. Okay. Yes. So now does, does your job, you're talking about your, your case. That's mean we I got five hours and a half on the radio mm -hmm. every week mm -hmm. and one hour TV show. Now do you the name is Variety Italian Style for the TV okay. show on Channel 68. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. do, do you ever, have you gone to Italy to... Oh yeah, almost every year we I go. And I was there like last month in March for a convention. Mm -hmm. Because that's a good thing too. Uh, it's like a society, an association. It's called the Federazione della Stampa Mondiale Italiana, Lestero. And uh, we are all uh, papers, magazine, radio, TV. We used to go someplace like in Toronto, in Canada, or in Rome. Mm -hmm. And uh, like a convention to talk what's our problems, what we can do, you know, change ideas. And and that's nice. And we went there for that to quick in Italy, mm -hmm. to have a, like to study like um, a common uh, way to work for like them, you know, and give all the information they need, you know, bring information this country to our Italian American fellow mm -hmm. and uh, help them to the construction, you know. For do you have you do you travel around the country too? The country? Yeah, but. If I have any reason to go in New York or in Canada, yeah, mm -hmm. if it's something special, I do. Mm -hmm. it, and I pay for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody gives. No, we don't. We don't get any money from mm -hmm. anybody. Yeah, no, because some people think the Italian government or no. No. What we Simply do? Simply a private. Do? Yeah, private thing. Yeah. And uh, we don't make too much money, but uh, I enjoy it. I think it's useful. You no, know, it's good. And I enjoy it very much, very much. Okay, well, thank, thank you. you. <laughs>